right, so show what happens when a variable is side, we could define outside a function has the same name as a local variable inside the function. Okay, so go back to the question. The, 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 the screen, sorry. Um, can you go to the top of line nine and just press enter key so we can put a comment above this function? Go, and just Wait, press, what? Yeah, just go in, front, go in front of the DEF and press enter twice. We want to create some space at the top. Okay. Yeah, and just put a, a hashtag to start a comment and say, this is our function with a local variable. called difference. Okay. All right, good. So let's go to, let's create a line six. Let's go, let's go to the end of the function body and press enter key twice, actually twice, press it twice. Let's go to seven. All right, so let's create a variable that has the same name as that local variable. The local variable name is difference, okay? We're going to create difference again, and we're going to say difference equals. Uh, let's say tw let's say twenty five. We're just going to, just going to give it a random number equals twenty five. Okay, all right. Now, um, okay, we want to call the function. Um, go 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 to the start of line seven. Go to the start of line seven, and press enter key three times. All right. Um, put a hashtag in front of it to comment out difference. We're going to actually try to use. The function before we test out the lo the, the, the variable outside of the function. Let's go ahead and call the function age difference. And inside the bracket, we're going to pass the number fifty and comma and the number twenty five. All right. So let's run the program and see what it prints. All right, so age difference is 25 because 50 minus 25 is 25. Let's change the number. Let's change change the number from 25 to 10 because it, it, might, it, might think, it might seem like we're printing one of those values. We don't want any confusion. Let's run the program again. Okay, so we get 40. Okay, so the age difference is 40. All right, so we know that the value of difference is 40, right? Everybody good with that? Okay, great. Um, Let's change the, 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 the line 10, let's, let's let, let it equal to 17. So we want, it, we want a pretty unique number. Let's change it to 17. Okay, great. So let's uncomment that difference in line 10. Mm -hmm. No, 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 the, in line 10. Let's take out the comment, the hashtag. Okay. All right, so after that, you're gonna have a print statement in line, say line 11. So go to the end of, yeah, press it 20. You're gonna print difference again. Mm -hmm print difference and then you want to run the program let's see what happens all right so notice now we have 40 and we have 17 okay so so um, difference has two different values here we, let, let's change our function body to return rather than print so that we have something um, Something else. no 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 that we can't do return there we have to do return inside of a function body. Okay, so all right so let let let's change our function to have it return a value instead of printing. Okay, so go ahead and, and change line number okay. five. Yeah, change line number five. Delete line number five in the function body. Okay, so um, what we can simply say is say return difference. All right, so this is another way that you that we could do it, okay? And then on on then on line and then on line seven, go to the start of line seven, and right, you can type the word print. Yeah, okay. Put an open bracket, and then go to the end of the line and put a close bracket. No, 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 no. You you you're doing the right thing. Go to the end of the line. And put a close bracket because we're printing, we're printing what the function call is doing. Okay, I hope I'm not confusing anybody here. 
So remember, remember our print statement is a function in its own. So we're putting the age difference call inside of the print function so that it does the, let's clear the screen, let's clear the screen of the output on the console. And I'm gonna show you that it does the exact same thing. So go ahead and run. Okay, so see, we get the exact same thing, okay? Because the print statement is printing what was returned from the function, okay? And then difference is printed on line 11. So why do we have two different numbers even though the variable name is the same? The reason for that is, remember that we did that in, in example five, a local variable is not seen outside of the program, okay? And so that's why we have two different numbers. We have 40 and we have 17. So if you go back to the question, let's look at the question one more time. In example five, it says, show what happens when a variable designed outside of function has the same name as a local variable. So we're gonna create a Google Docs to explain this code. So normally we would have gone over to the code, copied it out. So go ahead, to the, go, go to the code and we can copy it out. Uh, with, the, with the comment? Uh, yeah, it doesn't matter, it, does, it doesn't matter. Yeah. We just uh, and paste it and then press the enter key. And so what you would what you would do is you'd explain it and you'd say something like um, the output. Oh, you need to we need to copy the output, do we? Let's go to the question. Let's see if we need to copy the output and ex to ex or just explain it. It says explain what happens to the value of each variable as the program. Oh, we just need to explain it. All right, so let's go back to that. To the all right. So we'd explain it by saying something that um, the local variable has a value of 17, sorry, has a value of, what was it, um, 40? Oh, the of, of 40, no, it was 40 on the output screen, right? Has a value yes. of 40, uh, we did not, we did not, we should probably include the results. Okay, let, let's, let's go to the output screen and, and copy the output. You probably should do that, so copy that. Okay. And then, and then, we, and then, in the in the in the document that we have there, we could we could um, go to the end of the the function, the code. Sorry, just after right there. Press the enter key once, and we can just 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 put just put a hashtag just to show that um, we're type with no we don't don't put the output yet. So just put a hashtag. No no no, we don't want the output. Just delete the output, and. Press the enter key so we have some space between the explanation and the code. Okay, so this is the, you can say something like code output. The code output, but put some space between the program above it. Yeah, okay. And then after code output, you can paste, you can paste um, the code output. All right, great. Now go back down to the explanation. All right, the local variable has a value of 40 and the variable outside the function with the same name has a value of 17. Okay. Has the, has the value? value? 17, right. Because, because this is our example, okay? When you create your own example, you'll have something different. Um, full stop, okay. All right, so this shows that the variable values are kept separate and, are, and do not affect each other, something like that, okay? It, it, what, I'm, what, I'm tell, what I'm telling you right now is to explain to you what's happening, but, right, but you'd put it in your own words, okay? Oh, okay, okay, okay. All right. Because you, because you saw what happened. So let's go back to the code screen. All right. So you saw that, um, you saw that the age, not age, sorry. Yeah, yeah. We saw that the, the, the variable called difference has two different values, even though it's the same name um, in line four um, and um, on, line on line 10. So let's put that comment in the program. Let's go, uh, uh, press enter after line 11. Let's go to line 12 and put a comment to explain this program some more. All right, so um, on line four, 
um, difference is equal to 40. And on line 10, on line 10, difference is equal to 17. All right, so now we need to do one more thing to prove that the value that didn't change, and, we're, and that we're going to do that by calling the function, um, just copy, copy line 7 and paste it after the comment. All right, and run, let's run the program. Let's clear the screen and then run the program. Okay, great. So you notice now that, that even though we had changed the, the difference to 17, when we call the function, we get 40. How did we get 40 when we changed it to 17 um, before, before calling the function um, a second time? It's just, this is just to prove, okay, that the variables are kept separate from each other, even though they have the same name, okay? It's like, it's like another girl that's called Renata, but she lives in a different country. It's not the same person, okay? Or it's like another guy called Yesin, but he's not this Yesin, okay? He's, a, you, know, you know, people can have the same names, but they're different people, you understand? So that's yeah. That's what that, that that's what it like it's like. So when you keep um, a variable inside of a function body, it's like Renata is inside her house and she doesn't go anywhere. She just mm -hmm. she's just stuck in the house. But you have another girl named Renata who she goes out shopping and she lives in another country. She goes all around the place, okay? Something like that. So it's like a person having um, the same name as somebody else, but it's two different people. So right, so this is actually how you would finally show that it's actually um, doesn't change okay and then you would explain this in your document the best way you can